Yo, what's going on guys? So basically today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a 3D Fortnite thumbnail just like your favorite content creators like Tifu, etc. So basically to start off you're going to want to go into Chrome and you're going to want to search up Blender 2.8 and then once you're here you want to go to download so basically when you go to the blender page you're going to see this download blender 2.82 so just click download on that i already have blender installed so i won't have to do this but basically just go through the run process blah 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 after you have blender installed what you want to do is click and drag over everything and click delete on your keyboard Okay guys, so once you're here with everything deleted, I'm gonna leave a download pack in the description down below for you to be able to download a bunch of Fortnite models and everything that you need like to be able to make the thumbnail if you want it to be Fortnite related. So basically, once you have the Fortnite models, you click file, append, and then I have my own folder, it's Fortnite Blender models. So basically, uh, I just have all these models of just like nearly every skin in the game. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the Aura skin. So what you want to do is double click on the skin you want to use, go to object and hover over both of the things that say F underscore or M underscore. And then you want to click append in the bottom right corner. After you click append, it might seem fairly big. So what you want to do is click on F underscore med or M underscore med depending on what skin you chose. You wanna click on it, go to this orange thing, click on the first scale and put 0.011. And then you just go through the rest of them, 0 0.011, 0 0.011, but only for these three right here. And then boom, there's your Fortnite character that you chose right here on the screen. See all these things right here, those are the bones. So we're gonna pose those in a second. But first, you want a camera. So make sure you're on object mode, then add camera, and then boom, there you have your camera. Just adjust it to wherever you want it to be and to make it look the best that you possibly want it to be. So I'm gonna do it all right now, just to show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, so I have found an angle that I think looks good. So basically now what we're going to do is pose the bones. So what you want to do is click on the character over here on the right side, click on it, click up here on object mode and put it to pose mode. And then boom, all these green and white little bones will pop up. So what you want to do from there is just pose it how you want it to look and then boom, you're all good. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light.
All right, so now what you guys are gonna wanna do after you found your position that you've liked, you wanna pull this little tab, it'll, it'll normally look like this. What you wanna do is pull this little tab up right here, make sure you're on shader editor in this top left corner right here, and then where it says object, go to world, and then boom. Um, so basically what you're wanna, gonna wanna do overall is just import a HDRI. So basically you take all this off, it'll look like this for you guys. It'll look like it'll look like this, just these two. So what you want to do is find the HDRI that you like, go to Add Texture Environment Texture, and then place it, and then open, and then wherever you downloaded your HDRI to, you're going to want to import it right here and just connect it right to color. So those are my other HDRIs right there. So basically after that, what that's gonna do is give it some sort of light. So it's gonna give it some sort of light effect. And uh, yeah, so how you could check the light is what you're gonna wanna do is click this little thing right here, this little one right here. And then, so basically the other modes are this, which is like an edit mode, this, which is just like a pre-look pre mode. And then this is just normal color and then boom here's the pre-render so after that you're probably gonna add like you're probably gonna want to add like some lights behind it and in front of it this is what my lights look like you don't have to copy that of course but other than that yeah all right guys so now that you have all your lights in and stuff you're gonna want to go to the camera angle click on just the skin anywhere on the skin right click and then shade smooth and then once you do that you can just click it a couple times just to make sure that you did it right and then after that what you're gonna want to do is click click f12 on your keyboard or you can go to render render image and then boom it'll start rendering out All right guys, so now that the render is done, basically you just wanna save it to wherever. I save it to my self-made renders. I just kinda name it whatever, you could do whatever you guys want. But yeah, now it's time to take it to Photoshop. All right guys, so this is the final product. It's not my best because this is just for the video purpose, but yeah, so that was how to make a 3D Fortnite thumbnail and I'm out, peace.